Hi, I'm Dinesh and I'm a final year pharmacy student at Keele and I'm doing a campus tour today. Okay, brilliant, let's get started. Okay, so this is Chancellor's building. It's got one of our main university receptions in it. It's also where our main restaurant called the Refectory is based, in the food court right here. So in the food court, we have street food, and Monday to Friday, we have food from uh, different places, different cultures, um, and the refectory inside serves hot meals, and Monday to Friday, it serves a really good English breakfast in the morning, I'd really recommend it. Um, it's also where our language learning unit is based, so on that side of Chancellors is where our language learning unit is based, so every student at Q has an opportunity to study a language uh, as part of the electives or as an additional, uh, additional course. Um, we've got things starting from level one up to level 10, uh, things like French, Spanish, German, uh, Mandarin, uh, and etc. Um, so that's a really good option the students can take when they're at Keele. Um, it's also where Westminster Theatre is based. Um, it's our biggest theatre on campus, it's around the back. Um, and that's where we have, we have our big events, talks, um, lectures sometimes. Um, just something, something to be aware of, it's, it's a big theatre on campus. We can have the, the Welcome to Keele talk as well. Okay, let's, let's head on to the Sports Centre. Okay, so here we have all of our sports facilities. So we've got the Sports Centre, which is right over there. Um, and we've got all of our green um, fields over here and around the back we've got our sports park which has a full size 3G pitch. We've got tennis courts, we've got basketball courts, we've got a training area, we've got a large astroturf pitch and we've got loads of other football pitches and rugby pitches outside for uh, students to use as part of clubs or in their own spare time. Inside the sports centre we've got a gym uh, on the first floor that students can use uh, with student discount. Um, and then within the sports centre we've got two sports halls uh, we've got a gymnasium, we've even got hairdressers, we've got squash, uh, squash courts and two large sports stores as well as a bouldering wall. So there's a range of facilities that students can use. Whether you like, whether you're in sports before you came to Kiel or you, you want to get into new sports when you come to Kiel, I'd really recommend getting involved in sports, to make friends, uh, to keep fit or to try something new. You don't need, you don't need to be uh, good at a sport to try a sport. If you just want to try it, just play casually or just play for fun, then you can do that. Or if you want to play competitively, if you've played before, you came to university, then you can join the team, you can play against other universities, something called Bucks, which is a British university uh, wide league. Or you can play in our varsity competition every year. So every year we have a competition between Staffordshire University and Keel University across a range of different sports. And you can represent Team Keel uh, and represent, to, represent them to, fit, to victory against staffs every year as well. So it's up to you how much you want to get involved. Uh, sports clubs usually um, have socials and we've got and clubs such as swimming, a swimming club and equestrian club uh, usually take you to the facilities off-site uh, on, on minibuses that they use. So um, even if the facilities are off-site, they'll take you to them as well. Okay, so we'll go off to the centre of campus now and tell you about the facilities on campus. Okay, so here we are at Tawny Building, which is our student services centre at Keele. Um, this basically houses all of the main student support services available on campus. Uh, for example, it houses academic um, services. Um, so, for example, if you come to Keele and you struggle with essays or you struggle with revision techniques or, or you are struggling with referencing, then you can learn those techniques when you come to, uh, come to university and we've got a, a team that helps with uh, weekly sessions or one-to-one -one sessions if you would like to as well. We've got a finance team, so if you know you struggle with money or you want to know more about budgeting or about all of the other financial support available at Keel, then you can access the financial support uh, team right here as well. Another team available is disability and dyslexia team, so if you've got any additional needs, then they can cater for them um, really well and they can, they can let them know so they can alert your school. Um, so it's, just a, it's like a one-stop shop for, for anything, basically. Brilliant, okay, we'll head to the centre of campus then. Okay, so here we are in Central Union Square where we have the Forest of Light and it's called the Forest of Light um, because it does glow in the dark actually and it represents 50 years of Keel becoming a university. So Keel became a university in 1962 and this was built in 2012 to celebrate uh, that 50 years moment. And this whole square was redeveloped at that point uh, to make like a central hub for students to gather and, uh, and to um, be with friends and to have charity bakes and all sorts of things. And the bottom floor of the SU was also redeveloped at the same time as this was redeveloped. 
So around Union Square, even though the campus is huge, we've got it's over 600 acres of land. Um, everything's quite centralised. Um, so for example, you can see that we've got all of our sort of um, shops and facilities right in the centre of campus. So because we're a couple of miles away from Newcastle on the Line, which is our local town centre, um, we've got a few shops on campus. We've got Martin, which is like a corner type shop with a post office in there as well. We've got a Costa Coffee for any of your uh, caffeine, caffeine needs. Uh, we've got Blackwells next door, which is like a bookshop for any sort of uh, textbooks you want to buy or if you want to, or if you, if you read books or, or, or et cetera, they can get them from there. We also have our cost cutter. So it's, like an, uh, it's our on-campus mini supermarket. Um, so essentially you can get your everyday today items from there. Um, you, can, you can even sell Krispy Kremes there as well um, and fruit and veg and etc. So that's quite a good facility to have right on campus. We've got a wild pharmacy which was only opened a couple of years ago and we also have a medical centre which is based in Horwood Hall which is behind the SU. So when you come to university you can sign up with our GP, uh, with our GP practice and you can also have your pharmacy on campus as well so you can get your medication dispensed right on campus. Next door we have our Santander Bank. Um, so for any sort of additional banking, we've got a, a, a bank machine. The next door to that we've got On The Square, which is like a, a fast food sort of uh, place where you can get curly fries, so really popular even with squirrels, um, and burgers and wraps and all sorts of food from there. So there's loads of places to eat and get coffee on campus. Um, behind us, we've got the chapel, uh, which is a really nice uh, place to, to be in on campus. It's where we graduate at the end of our degree um, at Kiel. We have, we have our official ceremony, and also where the chaplain, chaplaincy team is based. Um, so we have services on a weekly basis, and the Christian Union is based there, and all the other associated societies. Uh, a really cool thing that the, chap the Christian Union does is that after uh, big events in the SU, and they host free tea and toast after, after nights out. So you see a stream of uh, people just heading to the chapel for free tea and toast before they head back to their halls. So that's quite a sort of tells you about the community spirit here at Kiel and how people just look out, look out for each other and give us free tea and toast. Um, so that's quite a nice building to have right on campus. Um, otherwise, all the ac academic buildings are, are around this sort of u university drive. Um, so all the main academic, academic buildings are here uh, with some others scattered on the outskirts and obviously the nurse midwifery school uh, based in Rawstoke Hospital. Okay, we'll head over to the library right over there. Okay, so this is our main university library. We also have another library in the Rawstoke Hospital for our midwifery and nursing students, which is not uh, open 24-7, but this library is actually open 24-7 during term time, which is a really good facility to have. You can come and study there whenever you want, in the middle of the night, whenever you're free, which is quite a really good service to have. Um, it's based over three floors, so the middle floor is multi group study areas, it's got group study rooms they can book out for group projects, group presentations, it's got an IT suite they, could, they can use uh, all day or night during term time. We've got a careers employability team based on that floor, floor as well which is really useful if you're looking for internships, part time jobs, CV help, interview help. Uh, and, and everything else associated with careers. That's a really good useful service to use. Next door the careers on the middle floor, we also have the IT support desk. Um, and that's basically, you can use that for any sort of IT issues, or if you have issues with connecting to the internet, because we've got, we've got Wi-Fi all across campus. Um, or if you want to hook your laptop uh, up to the network, uh, or even if you want to install a games console into the network as well if, if, you're, if you're going into halls. Um, and also have like a laptop loan, laptop loan service, so if you want to loan a laptop for the day, you can, use, you can get a laptop from them for free. Or if you want to uh, loan it for longer than a day, then you pay a small fee, um, but it's, it's, it's uh, not too much. Um, then on the top floor, uh, we've got all most of our books are based there. Uh, our printed books and it's a silent study area so they don't tolerate any sort of noise or talking um, and then on the bottom floor we've got our law library um, based there, our dedicated law library we've got a further silent study IT suite, silent study areas we've got a refreshments area down, down there because students can spend uh, many many hours in the library especially if they uh, haven't got much time left for their deadlines uh, and people want to take away to the library they can just got vending machines in there they can just uh, take a break in the refreshments area we also have Herb the Dragon based on the middle floor which uh, is our for uh, basically our mascot for Kiel also on top of that um, we also have online ebooks and e-journals and articles that you can use so you don't have to get physical books you can log on to your Kiel log in address and you can access uh, online materials right online you can see your reading list and you can also use our liaison librarians if you are struggling to find your books and you need to help dedicate and uh, or find your way around the library. Brilliant. Okay, we now head towards the clock house, which is in that direction, so let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so here we are in the clock house. It looks like former stables, and it was former stables. It was, it was uh, it used to be where all the workers used to live, and also a racing stables for a time as well. Um, but it's been converted to music studio, and it's also like a really another really old part of campus. Like the clock house was built around the 1830s. Down here, we've got a really nice walk um, that takes you right to the edge of campus. So if you're a runner or if you want to just go for a walk, that's a really nice walk to go down. Um, it's telling about the um, amount of green space that we have on campus, around a walking space. Um, and this is also um, where Drama Society, for example, um, use this sort of setting for some of their performances, some, some of their shows, um, and, and they sometimes invite people to come along and see what they've done. Okay, so let's go on towards Keel Hall, which is right on the right-hand side, which is quite close. So here we are at Keel Hall. You won't recognise it from online uh, promotion materials, on our web pages, on social media, but this is Keel Hall. It's one of the oldest buildings on campus. It was first built in the 1580s and then it was rebuilt in the 1860s because the first time around they built it of soft sandstone so it wasn't going to last um, until this time. During the Second World War, uh, Keel Hall was a military base of the US and British Army and so the whole of the campus site was a sort of a military site with uh, loads of military personnel and then after that it was like a refugee camp and even some Polish troops um, came, through, came through here on their way back to Poland. Um, Nowadays, first when it started in 1949, when it started at the University College of North Staffordshire, it was uh, where all of uh, a lot of our courses were based. It was really busy in terms of sort of social space, and a lot of people spent their time in Kill Hall. Um, but nowadays, because as, as the campus has expanded, Kill Hall is used less um, for lectures or teaching. It's got one school based here, the School of Liberal Arts and Sciences, which is a new course that has opened up to give, to go back to Kill's roots. So teaching a broad-based education across different disciplinary subjects um, but it's mostly used for it's a great list of building it's mostly used for like weddings and conferences and events and local events okay so Kew Hall is also used for student events for example we have an end of year balls here so a lot of academic societies like farm society or geography and geoscience society I have the end of year balls here at Kew Hall around May June time to celebrate end of exams and get everyone together and have a free course meal and everyone dresses up as, after, as, as entertainment um, and everyone just celebrates the end of the year. We also have other events there as well. So we, ha we have an annual careers fair that in previous years has been based at Keel Hall. And also in uh, previous years we've had like a Christmas markets event also based in Keel Hall for local people and people on campus. Um, also over there you'll see um, some fields uh, near the M6 motorway. Uh, you see a glimpse of it. Um, and also this is always really busy, especially these Italian gardens and the lawn area and Keel Lake. In the summer, everyone comes out to revise in the sun, to play frisbee, to play football, to sunbathe. So it's really always really busy in the summer. Um, we've got about eight lakes on campus. So Keel Lake, which is just over there beyond the um, the lawn, is our biggest lake. And then we've got woodlands right uh, across that side of campus. So there's a woodland walk that you can follow uh, into the woodlands and explore the woodlands, and you feel like you're in a different environment. And so we've got, we've got a vast array, as I said, over 600 acres of land. So a lot of green space, forest land fields and etc. So if you're into open space or a campus based university then Kill University is definitely something that can offer you what you want. Just as we're going uh, to the main campus, Freshers Gate uh, is actually graffiti that students in the past uh, graffitied onto uh, this gate because before we used to just have this main gate that everyone used to walk through and, and drive through but once this was built this was graffitied onto and you know it's done by students because on this side there's no apostrophe on the S, on the other side there is an apostrophe on the S, so it's a grammatical error. And when people done that, people stopped going through this gate because they, they, they didn't want to be seen as freshers, so it kind of defeats the point of the gate in the first place. And now it's still um, repainted and exists today, and people traditionally take photos when they start Kiel and when they finish Kiel, or when they do the dissertations. <laughs> We are at Keel SU. So Keel SU is run by students for students. It provides a range of different activities, entertainment, welfare, food, democracy representation. So every year we have elections to elect our full-time officers, which are any student can run for and be a trustee of the of the SU and help work on different sort of events and campaigns. We have part-time officer elections where you can volunteer your time alongside your degree and work in specific areas of student experience. Um, and we also have sort of the entertainment side. So on the middle floor, 
Um, on the first floor, we've got all of our sort of venues uh, and clubs and bars. So we've got a pub called Scruffy Squirrel, um, which is, serves food in the day. It's got pool tables. We have karaoke there uh, what, every week. Uh, we have pub quizzes there every week at the moment. Um, so this is, this is what's happened in previous years. Uh, and we also have nights out on various nights uh, throughout the week as well. Um, so it's a really safe environment to go out because there's stewards, there's first aiders. We have services like Street Team, which um, I used to be part of, which take you home. And we have a safety bus service that runs uh, until after the night out currently uh, and in previous years, which takes you home on or off campus if you would like to use that service. So it, everyone is, is more of a safe environment and we've got security and everything on site to help you have a good night out. We have a lot of live acts throughout the year, so we are really into our live music. Um, and we have our own entertainment department that book live acts throughout the year. We've had loads of indie and rock bands. Uh, we had, even had Ed Sheeran back in the day, uh, several years ago. So it's something to suit everyone. Uh, and we have an end of year festival called Woodstoke, uh, which usually happens and it, and it basically is like a 12 hour festival. We have rides and stores and a lineup for music artists. Um, and we also have Freshers Week at the start of the year, which is really a uh, big event to help you get used to university life and get to know people, get, get to know Kiel. So you have like inflatables and, and um, societies fair and sports fair, you can join up to societies and sports. Um, on the ground floor, uh, we've got um, the Brutal Bar and we've got loads of informal study and social space. Um, so you can get loads of food from the SU, we've got an SU shop, we can get merchandise, really good meal deals. Uh, we've got something called Advice and Support at Kiel, so ASK, which is an independent advice centre from the university, which is independent from the university, and you can go for any sort of welfare advice, monetary advice, academic advice, or any other sort of uh, issues or advice that you want. They're really good, it can help you a lot if you use them. Um, we have a job shop in there as well, so we've got loads of jobs available on and off campus for students, especially in all of our, in the SU and Kiel Hall and library and other sort of uh, services right on campus. So a lot of students do usually have part-time jobs alongside a degree as well, if you want to have one. Um, it also has all, it houses all the offices, or activities team. Uh, we have a print, uh, a print uh, sort of a, a print office um, and all the other sort of venues that, could, that societies um, can book onto. So the venues like the ballroom and K2 are used during the night for nights out and some nights, but they can all be used during the day um, by societies like Dance Society or Bollywood, uh, Bollywood Society or Drama Society for all of those sort of um, sessions throughout the week. And, it, and it's used for like uh, Christmas carol service or things like um, our society spell or our union general meetings which we have every year that everyone can attend and make, uh, help make decisions um, through the SU. Um, that's basically a one-stop shop of, of the SU. It's really good, there's a lot for students and they print this sort of events calendar every so often so you know what's going on every single day. Um, and something for you, whether you drink or you don't drink, um, as well as all the, all the representation and welfare side of it as well. A couple of important things to mention about KLSU is that we've got nearly 200 societies and sports clubs that you can join. So there's a vast around of sort of uh, groups that you can join that caters for your interests, for your hobbies. For example, we have got uh, societies like Filmmaking Society, um, and Ambassador Society, and lots of academic societies, and Disney Appreciation Society, Film Society, um, and etc. and Paintball Society. Or if you don't like the sound of any of the societies, or you want to make your own society, if you have an idea, then if you get a few friends together, you can start your own society, like I did back in my second year, and you can get people to join that society as well. Another thing to mention is also KLS uh, has also got a volunteering team, so there's a, a, a wide, array, wide array of volunteering that counts uh, towards uh, your volunteering hours, so whether that's being on a committee of a society, whether that's uh, volunteering for local charities, or doing volunteering right on campus, uh, you can work towards a volunteering awards, which start off in, with bronze at 25 hours, and you can work up to 1,000 hours, which is the Diamond uh, Award, which is nationally recognised by employers, and it's great on your CV, and I guess recorded on your higher education achievement record. So definitely get involved with volunteering and societies. So thank you very much for coming onto the store. Hopefully it's given you a good idea of what Kiel is about and hopefully, hopefully welcome you in the future to Kiel University. Thank you.